craft room. Um, we're having a lot of thunderstorms here and the lighting is very bad in the living room right now. So I have my lighting rig here in the craft room. But anyway, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute springtime topiary type thing using items from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned and I will show you how to All make it. Alright y'all, let's get started. So this is actually the second time I have filmed this video today, which is why this piece over here is kind of like semi-assembled. And then we got hit with a awful, awful thunderstorm and I had to turn the camera off and now I'm starting over again. So what you're going to need, of course, is a styrofoam ball. I got this one from Mighty Dollar. Of course, only a dollar. It is um, 4.75 inches. Um, you can get your styrofoam ball wherever you want to get it. You're going to need one bag of these moss stones. Now, the purpose of using these was somebody actually asked me if I could make a video using them. So that's why I got them. They come 10 in a pack from Dollar Tree, of course. A bag of this floral moss from Dollar Tree. You're going to need some kind of container. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of different kinds, uh, shorter ones, this tall one. I got this tall one. You're going to need a big block of this styrofoam, the, uh, the floral foam. That's what it is. A big block of the floral foam, um, a hot glue gun, and glue sticks. A note on that. I'm out of the low temp glue sticks. If you have those, you really need to use them because I have a high temp gun here. And a lot of times, depending on how hot your gun gets, it is going to melt the styrofoam. So please use a low temp if you have it, just to save yourself some aggravation. You're also gonna need one of these uh, Ninja toys. It's the Ninja playset from Dollar Tree. There are two pieces in the bag. And they look just like this. It's actually a bow staff. And you just screw the two ends together to make the bow staff. If you look at this, it is wood grain. It even has like the little knots and everything in it, which is pretty cool. I had seen an idea like this on Pinterest or Instagram or something. And anyway, I wanted to do my take on it. So first off, what I did is I took my foam block and I hot glued it into my container. And then, as you can see... <laughs> I took this, this bow staff thingy with the wrap that's supposed to be like leather wrapping and just took that and crammed it down into the foam and then put a whole bunch of hot glue in there to hold it in place. Okay, so that is going to be the uh, the trunk part of our little, our little tree thing that we're making here. Now I'm going to take this styrofoam ball here and uh, this is the part <laughs> that I got to when the storm hit. Um... And we want to take it and get it to fit down onto the top of this here. So what I'm going to do is, this is already a flat side right here. It looks like it's been squished or something. I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of work out a space. I know I don't like this noise either. I'm just going to stab him. Just work it around like that. He's spilling his guts here. We're going to dig his guts out. Look at that. <laughs> because what I want is the end of that the end of this to actually go inside the styrofoam ball a little bit just to help give it some stability let's see that looks pretty good let's fit that down maybe just a little bit more now what i'm going to do is i'm then going to take these little oh lord that noise there we go pour your guts out baby it's all good we're all friends here we can all pour our guts out to each other when we want to ha now i'm going to take these little moss stones and I'm just going to glue one here, there, and everywhere. And then I'm going to fill in around it with this floral moss. I think it's going to look okay. This is me experimenting here, okay? But I think it's going to look okay. And I'm doing it this way just to give it a bit of texture. <coughs> Excuse me. A different kind of look. A little bit of texture. Something different. Instead of like just a big blob of moss on top. And then I also have um, a bunch of artificial flowers little tiny ones that I want to maybe cut apart and just stick here and there, you know, so that it won't just be all green because it ain't easy being green. Just so that it won't all be green and be, you know, really boring, you know. I want to give it some kind of color. You know, it's springtime. We need color. Okay, stay. Huh, like it's going to listen. So I'm just putting these here and there. I think I'm going to angle them different ways. And then, like I said, I'm going to go in and fill in with this moss let's see 
And when you're using the high temp glue, which is another reason I said use a low temp, when you're using the high temp glue, it takes it so long to cool off and set up when you're attaching two styrofoam pieces. That's why I like the low temp. All right, so let's get this on there. And then I'm gonna show you what I mean about filling in with this moss here. Please don't fall off. Oh, oh, he's falling. See, and these little things here, they get these little green hairs all up. My pants are covered with them because I've already been playing with this idea a little bit on another project. And they get, oh my gosh, would you look at that? It's my magnetic personality. All these things just want to, just want to hang on me. And this stuff can make a mess too. And you know, it's Dollar Tree brand and it's a little dry. And here's a tip on that. If this stuff starts to get on your nerves, you can get like a big plastic bowl, put all your moss in it and take a spray bottle with a little bit of water. Don't hose the thing down, you know, and, and lightly spray it and kind of mix it up with your hands and it cuts down on the dust and all the little fuzzies that want to fly around when you're using it. So then I'm just going to put a little squiggle of hot glue. I'm just going to fill in with this. Like I said, it just gives a little bit of a different look, a little bit of texture. And um, on this moss part, I think it's where I'm going to start sticking some flowers. I got a whole bunch of flowers over here. So I don't know right now exactly what color, exactly what kind of flower I want to use. But we'll see what I come up with. So I'm just going to keep gluing this down all over the entire ball, of course. You know, not covering up the bottom that we made there. We'll come back and we'll see what I got. Hold on a minute. All right, this is what I have. I pretty much have everything on here, I think, um, as far as the little moss stones in the moss goes. Now, what I have, too, is a bunch of these little tiny flowers. I'm like, I really, like I said, I wanted something to kind of like bring some color to it. So it's not so boring. And I got purple and yellow. And these are so cute and tiny. These are just called wildflowers from Dollar Tree, of course. And I'm just going to pull their little heads off just like this. And then I'm just going to stick them down just every now and again, just to give it some color, some springtime color. Okay, do these come off like that? Well, the purple one's dead. Yep, here we go. All right. Just put a little bit of glue in there. And that's why I really like this glue gun, because it has a precision nozzle on it. And you can really get the glue down into the, like the, all the little nooks and crannies and all that happiness. So now all I'm doing is I'm going to glue a bunch of the flowers all over this, this mossy ball here. <laughs> and I'm getting glue strings everywhere. Look at, don't you hate that? It looks like, almost like some kind of wayward spider was in here. But just gluing these little flowers all over the place. And I'm not going to make you watch me do that because that's boring. Who wants to watch me glue flowers? I don't want to watch me glue flowers. So, you know, I doubt that y'all do too. Just going to stick these all over. Okay, so let's set this to the side and get all these strings off. Good Lord. Okay, what I did here is I had some of this um, floral foam left over. And all I did is I just cut it into a bunch of little pieces and just packed it around. If you do floral arrangements, you've probably done the same thing a hundred different times. Um, just crammed them all down in there. I don't care if it's all cattywampus or, or anything like that. And now all I'm going to do is, oh, I hope I have enough. Sometimes like when you fluff up this moss, oh yeah, I should have enough. Sometimes you take it out of the package, like just fluff it up. And you actually get more than what you think you have. Now for this, I am just going to put hot glue here and then just pile this moss in. See, it's going to cover this part right here. I'm just going to pile all that in there. I'm going to put some glue here just so that the moss has something to hang on to. It needs to hang on to something besides my hand. And just go all the way around. Lord. And just go all the way around. Oops, I need another glue stick. This project here has used a lot of glue sticks, let me tell you. I've used a whole handful. I'm just putting some all over the place and just packing the moss around i want to put some of those little flowers down in here too okay see that's what we have i know this is a little bit crooked but it's okay 
get this off of there. I want to put some of those little flowers down here too. So I'm going to stick a few of those. Oh, for heaven's sake. Get the little petals. Just want to stick everywhere. There we go. I'm just going to put a few around the base. Now, to attach this to the top, get over there. I'm just going to put a bunch of hot glue down in here and then stick it down on top of our um, whatever you want to call it, our trunk, the stem, the stalk, the base, whatever. So look, I'm just pumping it full of glue. There we go. And just taking that end and just cramming it in there like that. Now, if you want, um, I believe the one that I saw on Pinterest or Instagram, wherever I saw it, had a bow right here. You can tie a bow right there if you want to. I don't really know if I want to do that or not. Let me get up and put my flowers on and I'll see. So, y'all have already seen the finished product at the beginning of the video, but let me glue these little flowers on and I'll come back and I'll show you that. And uh, by then I'll decide if I want to put a bow on here. So hold on just a minute. I got this thing moved to the other side of my craft room. Just ignore all the little fishies. Y'all know that was from my, um, my latest Dollar Tree shopping haul video. But yeah, I decided that I thought the ribbon looked pretty good. And all I did is I just took a piece of ribbon, wrapped around it and glued it down. And I just tied a really cute, simple bow and glued onto that. So I am pretty happy with it. So if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me on other forms of social media. The links to all those will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.